Hey, Ben, it's Dave in New York. David, what's um, on your mind, man? And I just want to say before I go off into my question that I, that, that I have for you, that I'm completely in sync with what you just said. I, um, I've, I've been wondering if he's going to use that, that mailing list. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he did it with the Verizon strike, and it did, when he did it with the Verizon strike and, and was trying to pull out, you know, bring on support for the strike, I, I was, it, it made me wonder... Is there legality issues with using it outside of the election? And does he have plans to do that? I think it would be amazing. I think it would be unprecedented, but I think it would be amazing. Yeah. Um, but here's my question for you, taking it back to um, Orlando, Trump, yeah. and Hillary. Go for it. Um, it's, and, and it's twofold. I find it re- really, um, I don't know if astonishing is the right word, but mind-boggling that it hasn't been given this, you know, much attention. You really have two candidates that are that, that aren't too far off in terms of goals and visions when it comes to terror and defense. So Trump, Trump has, you know, said he wants a ban on a religion. He wants to ban yep. based on religion, and you know, specifically Muslims. And then after Orlando came out, he double down on that after trying to backtrack and Hillary in response, I'm not sure if it was directly in response, but on the same topic because of Orlando said that he, that, that uh, she wants to strengthen um, lists. And I think in this specific case, it was the terror watch list. Exactly. Yep. <clears throat> in, in my mind, that's, in both cases, they're taking away. They're they're seeking to restrict freedoms that citizens are entitled to. Mm-hmm. And so, I wanted to know your thoughts on if you if you see that same parallel where where they're both doing it in different ways, but just as damaging, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. And then the, sec- the, the second end of, the, the second end of that uh, when it comes to the the list, terror yeah. watch list, no fly list, all that. I don't think I've ever heard you uh, discuss that, and I was just curious. In my mind, the more I've learned about it, there's no due process. It's based on intel, based on either Mm -hmm. the president or the agencies in charge of them. And time and time again, we've seen the intel be wrong. Not it's not always wrong. I'm sure there's many times we don't know because it's you know classified, etc. But what we do know, there's been multiple you know instance after instance where the intel is bad. Yeah. Yeah, and we're oh, infringing on rights. Definitely, there's. Been I want people... to know your, your 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 thoughts on those. Hey, man, thanks for the call. Uh, there definitely have been people who have been put on that list based on faulty information, and they have to go through all types of hurdles to get off of that list. Um, so there are problems with this terrorist watch list, the no-fly list. There are a lot of problems. There, there are uh, civil liberties problems with it, right? The, um, there are all types of problems with our entire intelligence program, particularly as it pertains to um, counterterrorism and, and our attempt to, um, quote-unquote, protect ourselves from uh, terrorist attacks. There are problems with it, right? And so some people will say, okay, because there are problems with that, then we shouldn't use it as a way to undermine or to fight back against uh, the ease with which people can get guns. I'm not of that opinion. I am of the opinion that it's here. We are not getting rid of it yet. We haven't done what we need to do to get rid of it. But can we all agree that, you know, the last thing that people on the terrorist watch list need to worry about is getting a gun? We need to get them if they if their names are cleared and... Th- if we're not going to get rid of the list, then to me, it seems as it just seems reasonable. There very well might be people on that list who need to be on that list and they should not be free to buy weapons. Now, there's this final argument that undermines what I just said, and I don't mind giving it to you because it's a great argument, is that if they are on the terrorist watch list legitimately, then there are usually other issues that will prevent them from getting a weapon in the first place. That's not categorical um, there. I mean, it makes sense. It's a good argument and I get it. But <clears throat> you have to pray with me on the terrorist watch list. I, 
maybe I'm not fully. Uh, uh, let's go back to your first question. The first question I actually have a solid opinion on. The first question that you asked was um, the different approaches. One, Hillary Clinton seeking to increase the surveillance, right? We talked about that yesterday. And the last but not least, uh, Donald Trump saying he wants to ban Muslims. Um, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. Both of them are um, clearly infringing on your 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 civil liberties. It's, it's infringing on the Constitution, right? There's But here's a problem. So Donald Trump's is patently unconstitutional. Clearly, right? There is there is no real practical way that they can execute this without it being completely and totally unconstitutional. Which means it's it should be a non-starter. It should be something that's dead on an arrival as soon as it touches the 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 House of Representatives. But we've got some stupid House of Representative congressmen who who will who will go along with Donald Trump. And so it's a possibility that it would get passed and it will have to actually people will people's lives may be sincerely damaged before it gets to the Supreme Court for us to rule that it's unconstitutional. That's the problem with Donald Trump's thing is how stupid of a House of Representatives and the Senate would we have if he became president on the Hillary Clinton side of the equation? The fact of the matter is, is that we are already in that stage and that error, error era era that we are able to we have such leeway with surveillance that Hillary Clinton's plan would be passed and implemented without even needing to pass legislation Hillary Clinton's plans are realistic just as realistic as they are likely a violation of our uh, civil liberties two different plans one one more openly nefarious, one that would have horrific ramifications on the day to day lives of Muslims in America, depending on the House and the Senate. While we get time for a trial to get to the Supreme Court, you know, you're talking about maybe six months to a year minimum before someone is able to pass a lawsuit uh, or to file a lawsuit that makes it to the Supreme Court. <clears throat> so there's a lot of people who will be hurt. Hillary Clinton. It, they wouldn't have to pass anything, right? As soon as she gets in, those policies will be implemented and they will have uh, a greater leeway, greater um, leverage in terms of surveillance.